I'm Ellie Golding and I'm here to talk about my favourite record and my favourite record of all time is by Pearl Jam and it's called Ten. It's my favourite album for many reasons. Um, I discovered it at a time where I was looking for something to save me when I was a teenager. Um, I was about 15 years old and I met this guy that I basically fell in love with or thought I fell in love with um, and he was my sister's boyfriend's brother um, and he was really obsessed with Soundgarden and this band, band called Soundgarden I was just discovering a lot of grunge music at the time and a lot of rock bands I was into quite heavy stuff his system of down and death tones um, but I was looking for something a bit bit more and I was looking for voices because I was really obsessed with um, special voices unique voices um, so uh, I went to search for Soundgarden and just by chance I found this other band that were um, in the same category apparently um, and then I just happened to click on a song I think it was um, Even Flow which is the second song on this record um, and I completely fell in love I didn't know anything about the band where they were from um, and I soon downloaded the album I think I must have bought it or borrowed it at the time because there wasn't iTunes and there wasn't there was like you could download music illegally, but um, I think the only way at the time was to buy CDs. So I think I bought the CD, um, and I I became completely engrossed by it. Um, I was obsessed with the way that Eddie Vedder wrote lyrics, the way he was so honest and so explicit and so open about his father and his family, um, and uh, and I could relate because I at the time was writing things about. Um, my family and my uh, my personal situation and I just felt like he was a real poet and I related to the way that he wrote things even at such a young age um, and then I found out more about the band and their history and I found out that um, actually Soundgarden, members of Soundgarden and members of Pearl Jam were in uh, other bands um, Temple of the Dog Is Temple of the Dog? Did I get that wrong? Yes! Um, and like they're all, they were all from the same kind of background in Seattle and they all kind of hung out together. Um, and uh, so yeah, I became invested in this band and um, it was a shame that I could never go and see them live. I could first of all never afford it because I was so poor and um, they, they never came to, um, to the UK. So that was kind of like, I was eternally intrigued as to what they would be like live, so I bought live albums and I bought any album I could get my hands on um, and I borrowed albums as well because I then found out that a lot of other people were into this band but um, I think specifically a lot of the content, a lot of the stuff that he writes about I could for some reason relate to um, and his voice is like no voice I've ever heard um, and I think there's a certain kind of emotion in his voice that just really captured me and still captures me after all those years um, I haven't I haven't listened to the record for for maybe a, a few years, um, but um, it still will always be my favorite album of all time.